Hey guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Answer. Today I'm out at my parents' house and it is so windy out here. They live on top of a hill and they're just getting nailed. So I hope it's not picking up in the microphone. Otherwise this video is gonna have to be a voiceover. What I'm doing today is unboxing another hose reel. You might remember in a recent video where I unboxed and installed an Ely hose reel. And I mentioned in that video that the only thing that I didn't love about the reel is that it didn't have a built-in hose guide so that when one hand is wheeling it up, the other one has to guide the hose so the hose runs through your hand and gets it all dirty. And um, I do like everything else about that reel, the Ely hose reel, except for that feature. So Liberty Hose Reel saw that video and asked if they could send one of theirs because it does have a guide. So I'm excited to unbox it and see how it is and how it compares to the Ely hose reel. The only thing about it is we didn't have another place at our house where it would be easy to mount another reel, but my parents have a great spot. So that's why we're out here doing that. So I'm just gonna unbox it now. I don't know how I'm gonna get this out of the box exactly. It's a little heavy. There, that loosened it up enough. Oh, there's two of them in here. Looks like they are the same unit. So I'm just gonna unbox this one right now. Give you guys a look at the box here. It looks really pretty, really decorative on the side. See, and there's the hose guide right there. Let's get into this box. Okay, at first glance, this one's very pretty. It's heavy, it's made out of metal, it seems like. I'm not sure what kind of, oh, that's greasy. This is greasy. That's probably a good thing in the, for the hose guide. So it looks like right here, there's a little thing that you can loosen. You know what, let me get the guide out, the owner's manual before I get too far into this. This looks like the hose that you attach to your, like to your faucet, to the spigot, I guess. And then it goes up into here and attaches to your actual garden hose. And then this is the handle. Now I'm gonna go install it. So this is where we were going to attach the hose reel, but we just ran into a couple of problems. The first one is, is that the necessary hardware to install this was not included. I uh, kind of would have liked that to have been included. So now we're gonna have to run to the store to buy what we need. Um, second of all, it, this fence isn't working and that's not Liberty's fault. Uh, we thought we could install at least the top of the reel to this two by four running horizontally. And then we were hoping that the slats would line up for the bottom so that we could um, install it that way, but it's just not working out. So we're gonna go find a better place to install this. So I need eight, so I'm getting 12. Four, six, oh, they only have 10, so that'll have to do. That'll be enough. Yeah, um, and I, now I need some washers. All right, five sixteenths by two lag screws and then some washers. So we're here at Aaron's parents' house and they've got a good spot for us to mount the reel. And um, they've already got, you can see this little plastic one. So I think this one will be a nice upgrade. So I'm just gonna take this one off and mount the new one. Ooh, spider egg sack. Assembly is a little easier on this one than with the Ely. I don't know if that's going to make a difference to the how it feels pulling it up, but definitely fewer steps. You can see that rolling. All right, so I'm going to connect this end here and then the other end will connect to the reel. So I'm going to get this to where it's back at the starting point. Now I'll feed it through and attach it. Okay. Here we go. So it reeled up really easily. So this thing over here swiveling didn't end up being a problem like I thought it was gonna be, thankfully. So what I'm gonna do now is just unwheel the whole thing again and do it one more time. All right, second try. Ooh. 
Oops. Kink in the hose. I think I need to get my mother-in-law a new hose. That wheeled up super easy. So the thing that this doesn't have that the Ely does have is a something to hold it in place. So when you wheel up the Ely, it's got this little, uh, I don't know, like a lever you can pull and it makes everything stay really tight right here so it doesn't like come undone. But this seems pretty tight, like it's keeping everything up pretty well. So one thing that the Ely hose reel didn't have that this one does have is this shelf. So you know how it goes, you've always got like little tools around where your hose is like like this right here, like the hose end sprayers or a water wand or a little sprinkler that always end up like scattered around the ground. Mine do anyways, and they're always dirty and like gross. Um, so you can have a place to put all of those things so they stay nice and they all stay in the same place. So based on initial impressions, I'm not sure that I can tell you which hose reel is my favorite because I think they each have their place. Like at my house, the Ely works because I need to put more hose on it than I think this one will hold. But for most applications, I think that the Liberty hose reel works really, really well. And it has a couple features that Ely does not, like the hose guide, the shelf, um, the kind of padded um, twist knob thing. So yeah, I don't know if you guys have been looking at this hose reel and wondering if it was worth the investment. I think I put my stamp of approval on it because I think that it's, I think it's worth it. It's worth it to keep things nice, to keep things tidy. It looks pretty. I think that's one other selling point of the Liberty. It's got a really pretty design on the side, which Ely does not have. So it's really a nice touch in the garden. You know, it adds that really kind of pretty, like you tried, you know, to make it look nice. So hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, please leave a like down below and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.